Major changes are coming to the traffic issue on the eastern shore. A new project hopes to better sync the lights so drivers can get where they're going a little quicker on those main highways. News 5's Ashley Knight has more on the Baldwin County Beat. Traffic. It is very frustrating. Just looking at it can make people angry. And here along Highway 98 in Daphne and parts of Highway 181 in Spanish Fort, people are fed up. Because you sit there and you can't go. You see uh, all of these lanes of traffic being stopped for one person to come out of a side street. But relief is coming. A huge project will begin this month to sync up the lights. If you sync the lights up, traffic's going to flow better and everybody, there'll be less wrecks. I think it's a great change. I don't know why anyone would be upset about it. The giant project will use federal, state, and local money and is supported by locals and officials. What we're, we're shooting for is an adaptive signaling project that really kind of learns traffic behavior. Elliott started pushing for it two years ago. The entire project will be three phases. Phase one has to do with laying the fiber optics in order to sync up the lights, but none of it will impact traffic, he says. It'll all take place here along the right-of-way. And um, and really, even the, the camera installation should be like, you know, changing out a light bulb in the signal or something like that. Considering the way that the eastern shore is growing and all the families that are moving in, it's very much needed. Funding hasn't been easy to come by because these are state roads. But this is an easier solution than adding more lanes of traffic. They hope this will be up and running by next spring and expect to see great improvements in traffic flow. On the Baldwin County Beat, Ashley Knight, News 5. The first phase will cost $2.6 million. The cost of the overall project is not yet known. Phase one begins next month.